Well, advocates want the state to ban chemicals known to cause cancer from everyday products. News 12's Nadia Galindo tells us more. PFAS contamination to drinking water sources in the Hudson Valley is nothing new. The chemicals have been linked to cancer and have popped up in communities like Newburgh and Nyack. A new map released by advocacy group Clean and Healthy New York details the high cost of PFAS contamination cleanup. Now, some it's state legislators supply, want to further but, ban it uh, from everyday products. That you're maybe remedying your water supply now, but these chemicals continue to be in products and continue to be um, uh, in and around our environment um, because our manufacturers aren't doing anything uh, to get them out. Assemblyman so, Ken Zabrowski, who represents part of Rockland County, is introducing a bill to ban PFAS from textiles, cookware, and other products. We need to completely eliminate uh, these chemicals from the products we use uh, and the products that are manufactured here in New York State. His bill is one of four advocates hope to pass before the end of this legislative session. PFAS are everywhere. They are pervasive chemicals and they're dubbed forever chemicals for a reason. They last in our environment. They are very strong chemicals. The other bills would ban PFAS from apparel, cosmetics, and carpet. The legislation comes as the ban on PFAS in food packaging is set to take effect next year, a law that spurred some companies to reconsider their use of the chemicals in products. We know that we can make a difference not only for our own communities, but for communities across the country and around the world. Time is running out to pass these four bills. The session is set to end on June 2nd. Nadia Galindo, News 12.